Hello, I'm Hunter. I'm Sophia. I'm Seth. And I'm Emery. And this is Table Talk. That was good. We are back with another week of Table Talk. We've had a little hiatus, I think, actually, since I've broken my leg. But... We're back. Yeah, are you all better now? I am mostly better getting there, one day at a time. I can walk now, bend it up to 30 degrees Ooh, while walking. That's good. Wow. 30 degrees, is that a lot? I don't know what that is. It's a little. It's not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. No. It's, is that a lot? It's closer to a little. But, closer to a little. you know, it's better than nothing. It's mm-hmm. better than walking peg leg around. <laughs> and so. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. Yes, but we've entered December. It's December time, Christmas time, Advent time. We'll talk a little bit about that later. But because it's Christmas time, let's play a Christmassy game. Do you own any sweaters, Sophia? Mm, not an ugly sweater, but a sweater. She owns sweaters, but not ugly sweaters. Zach, do you own sweaters? Uh, yeah, I think so. Are I they th- ugly? I don't <laughs> think they're ugly. <laughs> I don't have any sweaters that I would deem as ugly sweaters. I mean, they they may be they may be a little bit. How ugly. do you define an ugly sweater from just regular sweaters? So well, yes, w- we're gonna see a lot of examples of sweaters, I and we're gonna know. determine I if they're ugly or not. I will tell you that I saw the best ugly sweater on Sunday, because uh, Chuck, Mr. Chuck, he had mm-hmm. the grossest, <laughs> the grossest <laughs> little um, thing I've ever seen. I think in my entire life. It's so. just a whole bunch of like random patterns. Yeah, <laughs> it did make it made no sense. I did. I did see him in that, and I thought I missed something. Like I missed some memo of like s- wearing ugly sweaters. Watch what? this. Watch him have like really loved that sweater, and we're just here calling it ugly. I think he knows what it is. <laughs> this game, uh, the game we're playing is just called Ugly Sweaters, and we're gonna look at some ugly sweaters. And we're going to decide which one is the worst. It's going to give us two options each time. Okay. It's going to be a good time. I've, I've got a little pre-look at some of them. And, uh, yeah, there, there's some pretty bad. Normally, so this game allows you to play in teams. We're just going to free for all, all of us, our opinions on these sweaters. Got it? Got it. All right. Here we go. Ready? Let's just see the first one. We're starting. These aren't that bad. No. So option A, we've got a Fortnite sweater, and B is a sloth sweater. And we're going for the one that is the ugliest? We want to, s- yeah, the ugliest. Okay. I say option A is uglier. Yeah. Option A. Option A. Option A has a lot going on. Like, I feel uh-huh. like you could get away wearing option B, like, pretty casually, yeah. mm-hmm. you know? I think uh, option B is just cute. I think so, too. Mm-hmm. I think it is. Sorry to all of our Fortnite fans out there, but I think it is option A. I think we're pretty pretty unanimous on this. Option A. Option A. Option A is gross. Yes. <laughs> Give us our next one. They're going to start ramping up pretty quickly here. Ah, <laughs> this is good. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> We've I know my already choice. gone off the rails. We're in the magical category <laughs> on this episode. Is that, <laughs> uh, is that Jesus thing. and Santa on a dragon? I, I th- believe so. <laughs> I couldn't tell myself. Jesus and Santa? I think it's Jesus and Santa. On it's a like dragon. On the Christmas Oh, dragon. on the... <laughs> I feel like that's what's happening right yeah, now. Yeah, so that option is A is Santa on a space <laughs> unicorn, whereas <laughs> option B is Santa and what appears to be Jesus on the Maybe Christmas it's an dragon. Elf. I don't know. It I don't could know be an it elf. It it's hard elf. to tell. I say option B is uglier. I, I think I agree. <laughs> I think I agree. What do you what guys think? What kind of material is the dragon made out of? That's what I don't See, know. It's that is a good question, Sophia, because it looks like it's shimmery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, like, it looks like it, like, it's not, like... It's creased, and fabric yeah, doesn't... It's, yeah, it's, knitted. like, it hangs off. Uh, of the yeah. Like, I feel like if you were to wash it a few times, it would just start disintegrating. Mm. Yeah. Exa- I think you That's a great yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely crazy. Yeah, like my daughter's tutu. <laughs> <laughs> For a dance, sometimes uh. you'll just go in and, like clean out the washing machine and be like what is all this weird stuff <laughs> and that's what it is so there you go yeah i agree b, I, b. I think the material is too good of a point from yeah. sophia to not to not acknowledge all right b it is next okay we've got a stranger things uh-huh. sweater 
versus a oh, there's not SpongeBob. Even, there's not even sweater. a sweater. <laughs> that's not even a choice. <laughs> <laughs> the SpongeBob one looks so photoshopped in this picture. It does. <laughs> yes. It does. It is. <laughs> Do you ever do that where like you're like looking at like t-shirts or hoodies online and there's very clearly just like a template that they yeah. just yeah. like put the design on? It looks terrible. It the does. SpongeBob one looks so bad. <laughs> it looks so bad. It's so aggressive. But my favorite part about the SpongeBob one, if like you can if you show that, is just Patrick right under the collar, aggressively running. That's the only time I see him on this sweat. Oh, never mind. He's all he's, big he's in the center. Are you he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I see it now. I completely ignored <laughs> Big Patrick because I was looking at Little Patrick <laughs> up at the top. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All the, right in front of you. All the, all the yellow kind of drowns Patrick out. <laughs> oh, God. That's on me. That's on me. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> I just, all I can think of is when oh. my mom what time this sorry but my mom what time was holding my sister she was like two years I don't know a year and a half old so she's like I don't know like 10 15 pounds 15 you know 20 pounds I don't know how much a one and a half year old weight um, so like 15 pounds and my mom didn't realize she was holding him like holding her she's like where is she where is she and that's like she's right in front of him and that's what all i could think of when that of like dude he's right that's in front of you it shouldn't be that hard to find yeah i was just i was looking at all the characters and i was like patrick's and patrick only made it one time on that <laughs> sweater <laughs> i have been proven wrong that is brilliant i agree i think that you can't you can't ignore the yellow <laughs> and the spongebobness of it uh, sophia what did you say i didn't say anything oh do you have any hard, fast thoughts? This is actually her favorite sweater. She just didn't want to say anything because we immediately... <laughs> the SpongeBob one? Yeah, started ragging <laughs> on it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll say B. We'll say B and we'll observe yeah. some others. <laughs> All right. Meow <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> or this polar bear who seems to be... Throwing, throwing up. up? Yeah. There's fish bones. So did he eat too many fish? I... Oh, I didn't even notice the fish bones at the bottom of the polar bear one. That is. But his, it's sparkling. It is. It is some sparkly throw up, I will say. It's also probably radioactive based <laughs> on the color. It does look very, uh, it does look like it's been charged. Uh-huh. But the cats are all staring at you. The cat, oh. All oh, of them no. are staring at you. Why did you point that out to me? <laughs> Oh. All the ones on the sleeves. I know. <laughs> I didn't the notice. The ones with their heads, like, tipped to the side oh. and staring yeah. at you, like, in the soul. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's terrifying. I th- – oh. I th- so terrifying. <laughs> I thought this was, like, an easy decision, and then you pointed out – The staring the cats. S- the staring cats. <laughs> oh. Honestly, they're both pretty disturbing. They are for very different reasons, mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I think I dislike A the most. I think you A just like ugly. the cats. I think the cats are ugly. Yeah, I cats agree. Are pretty gross. It's the eyes. I vote no cats. No cats. <laughs> we'll take vomiting polar bears. <laughs> <laughs> With it's radioactive. Don't forget that. <laughs> See, that's just a cool shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it's radioactive. It's a cool <laughs> shirt. You know, you're like, well, this is intense. Yeah, the cat one is just like something that an ant would wear. Yeah, B has a story to it. <laughs> <laughs> he ate too many radioactive fish. He ate, yeah, sure. exactly. You have to, like, look at the stance? entire sweater. Yeah. I think it might actually be a stance on climate change with the radioactive fish. <laughs> oh, really? I mean, you took that to a whole nother level. <laughs> whole nother level. All right, we're saying A. Whole nother level. I can't handle it. Next. <gasps> Bigfoot. Sas- yeah, Bigfoot slash Sasquatch or s- the uh, Doge sweater. Such ugly, many Christmases. Okay, my question so is, why is the dog one, like, posed? That's, see, I was also wondering <laughs> that. Can I, mean, I don't think either of these are that bad. I don't think no. they're bad. I don't Mm-mm. think they're bad at all. I think I would wear the Sasquatch one over the Doge one. Yeah, I think that one's just a t-shirt. <laughs> it it does it's just a long sleeve. Yeah. That's very true. Like yeah, that is a good point. When the mm-hmm. It does look like a t-shirt. When it the looks design, like a long sleeve t-shirt. It's when not the a sweater. When go all the way around, you know they're cheaping out. So I'm going to say I'd rather wear A, so probably B is mm-hmm. uglier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, the doge looks sad. 
You look in his eyes. What is that? What is a Doge dog? I don't remember what it is. It's sh- like a meme. It's like, no, I know, but like, it's a certain type of dog. Oh, it's a Shiba Inu. Shibu, 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 Shibu. <laughs> yep. Shibu, 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 Shibu. I don't know. I you no turned idea. into Elvis there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I'm – okay, here we go. This is the one I got a sneak peek at. Pizza, cr- pizza cats. This. <laughs> 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 they both include pizza. They do both include pizza. Wait, where's – oh, they do. He's standing on He's pizza. He's standing on <laughs> – That's kind of out of the like, dinosaur pizza Santa. Okay, I'm going to say the A Fire. is more ugly one. Just yeah. Just because we already hated on cats once, and I would totally wear a T-Rex. The dinosaur yeah. – T-Rex the, reindeer. I the dinosaur's the s- wearing antlers. Yeah. I agree. I think the scariest thing on the dinosaur one is that the Santa is real. Like it's a real like it's it a is. human Santa. <laughs> yeah. It is. Not it is cartoon. Just a real dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a cartoon Santa. That is yeah. It's not. I love it. You could also see like Car- it's very clearly a photo where it's like someone took a bunch of elements and just like stretched them yeah. into like the place they wanted them to be, like the pizza. <sighs> yeah. That's just too funny. That That's is just too funny. <laughs> A's <laughs> uglier. We too like funny. the the cats are wearing bow ties. I would totally wear the. The A cats one. are wearing no, bow ties. One. I would wear the B one. Yes. Next. I don't know how many there are. Okay, have we all been anonymous on all of them? I think this is a. This one and the next one. This is a Home Alone versus Snoop Dogg reference. <laughs> I'd wear the nizzle before Christmas. <laughs> 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 Not the nizzle. <laughs> My mom would wear option B. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that that's the matchup is <laughs> Home Alone versus Snoop Dogg. <laughs> and if you, do you do you follow the do you follow the dude uh, on Instagram? It's like the guy with a cardboard sign in New York City. Uh, he's, uh, it's like his name, I think, is Dude with Sign. Anyway, no. he <laughs> anyway, he his post today was about Christmas. And it was him standing in New York City with a sign that said, Kevin's parents are the worst. <laughs> Which I thought was really good. They so did mess up two years in a row. Two times. Yeah. Yeah, but it's so funny. So funny. Mm-hmm. But it was like what you said of Home Alone is actually just the movie Die Hard just for kids. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I would wear the – I would wear the uh, – personally, I would wear the the Kevin one. So The Kevin one? Yeah. I just really like – I like the Kevin one because if you told me they took, like, a screenshot of, like, someone's face from that movie, yeah. this is not the face that I would expect it to be. Yeah, right? Like the mm-hmm. – Yeah, like – yeah, with the – what is that? When he has uh, aftershave? The, the aftershave. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah. <laughs> I like how me and you could not remember what it is, but Emery – Emery instantly. <laughs> aftershave. <laughs> yeah. Aftershave. Well, I just know because I have little siblings, so that every time that we watch that movie, there, no, <laughs> stop. <laughs> no, every time we watch that movie, <laughs> Elodie. Bert just coming in at breakfast, being like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, what is that? Like, what? So what did he do? Mm. So That's they have to explain every single time. <laughs> Christmas season, and a part of Christmas season is something called Advent. Do you know what Advent is, Sophia? Mm, no. That's fair. I wouldn't have known at your age. Uh, Emery, do you know what Advent is? Um, kind of. Kind of. Can you enlighten us? It's like, like you're counting down to Christmas. There's the Advent calendar. Yeah. Advent calendar. Yeah. Yeah, they have a Lego one. They have. Yeah. yeah they have all <laughs> There's kinds. three. Like four Advent Lego calendars. They're steamed. Like what? Marvel, Harry Potter, oh. City. Oh. I love how you know how many there are. Yeah. She There's collects them. <laughs> she, <laughs> <laughs> she knows all the Lego Advent calendars. Yeah, Advent. I'd say Advent calendars probably come, when people hear the word Advent, that's probably what like comes mm-hmm. to mind first. I've never done an Advent calendar. Like, really? Yeah. I've just is Ever? No. None ever. No. Never whatsoever. Nope. Wow, you've missed out. My I cousin's th- doing a cheese advent calendar. A Ooh. cheese advent calendar. That sounds fun. That is, is kind that of just fun. like 25 different flavors of cheese? <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Oh. On so many levels, that's amazing. 
that is, I have so many questions now about cheese. I've seen some really fun advent calendars where it's like a. Are there 25 different flavors of cheese? Oh, surely if, there yeah. is. I like it count as like six. What? <laughs> Mozzarella, cheddar, Jack. Jack. Pepper Jack. I say, what Swiss. Kind of Jack? Swiss. Gouda. Okay, go, that's more. Parmesan. Oh, my. Okay, there's a lot. <laughs> American. We're going. Fiesta blend. Is that real? Yeah, Fiesta blend. Does that count, though? <laughs> <laughs> I see that one at Walmart all the time. Fiesta <laughs> Yeah, that's a real one. I think that should be. Like Monterey. Is there Monterey cheese? Yeah. And then yeah. Jack cheese, and then you mix it together, and you have Monterey Jack? Yeah. 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 Wow, I thought Monterey Jack was just like a thing. I didn't know it was made of two things. My whole life has been just shattered right now. <laughs> this yeah. is insane. There's all kinds of cheese. Blue. Mm-hmm. All those. Crazy. You could make an advent out of that. You could probably make an advent based on anything. But it kind of gets – we've uh, we've gotten away from the point of advent. It is counting down to Christmas, but it uh, goes a little little beyond that. I'm going to – here's a – we're going to play a little game here real quick. You guys don't know Greek. A ton of Greek. No. If you had to guess – what Advent was in Greek? What would be your What would be your guess? I don't. I don't know. I have. I bet if I gave you twenty guesses, which I'm not going to, I'm going to give you one. You could get it. I don't want to guess. Cause Is it Advent? Is it what? Is it just Advent? Mostly. Uh. Ah. Uh, ad. Went. I don't know. Ad went. <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Zach, do you know what it is? I don't know. I, so I have no idea. I would guess. I would guess like uh, Advente or Adventos, Advent, Adventimos. So ad- you, it's ad- like it's Adventus. Adventus. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you were Adventos, Adventus. Yeah. So it's very clever. Uh, you could tell there was a ton of name change in between then oh, and yeah, now. Absolutely. Like adventure. Yeah, and uh, it just means like coming. Like, is what Advent means. It means something is coming, Christmas. and we're preparing for it. Christmas is what we think of now, but traditionally, it, it's preparing us for something else. Well, it kind of is something different than Christmas. It's still Christmas, but not like the day about presents. It's the other, the other thing that we celebrate as Christians about Christmas. <laughs> Any guesses? <laughs> Christmas? <laughs> the birth. The bird. Yeah, there it is. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's like the lead up to Jesus coming. And Advent, it, uh, it's a r- actually a really important thing that we've kind of turned into just like a bunch of fun boxes that you get candy out of, um, which is fun and important to some people. But it's about this lead up to like Jesus is coming. It's like not that complicated in reality, but it's not exactly candy coming out of the box. <laughs> but. It's like this important thing. Do you know what the liturgical calendar is? That's a big, big liturgical? word. Liturgical? Liturgical calendar. Uh, no. <laughs> so it's kind of like, it's like the church calendar. So like every, that things operate off of. So you got like your Easter, you know, there's Passover, mm-hmm. stuff like that. It's like uh, the globe, like kind of global cur- church calendar. However, I say global, but not everyone follows the same calendar. Either, you know, the world's complicated yeah but i mean there's not like four no. well uh, maybe the eastern churches yeah, yeah eastern yeah. churches is different that's fair that is what that's what comes to my mind is western church has this thing and the eastern church yeah has yeah, yeah i got you yeah but this is the start of the liturgical calendar this is the start of the year we took this thing as start of the year as uh january no it starts 40 days before christmas that's that's fun but do you have any idea let's let's get a little historical do you know? Do you like history? Mm, kind of. Kind of. 40, uh, 40 days before Christmas is when Advent's supposed to start. People would fast for these 40 days. Or they would try to. They'd attempt. Eventually it got shortened to like 20-day fast because people like couldn't Wouldn't couldn't they hang. be able to eat at night? Yeah. So they, they do – different cultures would do like different things. So there's like intermittent fasting, which is you can only eat when the sun goes down. And I was going to ask, what is something that you feel, like, leading up? Because it's like giving up something. Jesus is coming. We're giving up something. What's something? Do you feel you could fast from food? Or, like, what's something you feel you could fast from? I could fast from sugar. Sugar. Oh. 
That'd be easy. Sugar fast. That's fair. I can give my brother and sister my candy. I probably need to fast from sugar, just in general. Yeah, me too. Same. <laughs> <laughs> it just it is just lying around the house, you know, and you just eat it and stuff. But uh, I've actually been told by my doctor I need to stop eating sugar to stop the swelling in my knee. So. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Because eating sh- sugar, you know, it raises and lowers the blood pressure. Yeah. And so uh, apparently consistent blood pressure reduces knee swelling. Well, there you go. But, yeah. Back to Advent. Back to <laughs> Advent. And so they, they'd fast. They'd give up something for Jesus' coming. However, so that's kind of what it originally meant. But it means mm-hmm. it kind of has this other meaning, which is also Jesus' is coming. So it means Jesus' is coming, but it also means Jesus' is coming. Do you understand? <laughs> you can say no. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's this there's a tradition. Jesus Jesus has already came. Mm-hmm. And we're preparing for Jesus to come again. Okay, I understand. And so that's kind of what people get at when you read about like Advent and we're preparing for like Jesus is coming. Is we're not expecting we we're not just talking about Jesus came and like Christmas stuff. We're talking about how we're preparing ourselves for Jesus to come again. And that's, uh, that's something that we don't always talk about sometimes, is the second coming and per- Christmas having meaning for that. I didn't know that. Yeah. I actually learned that on Twitter like three days ago, which really? is partly why I wanted to talk about this today. Okay. But yeah, I didn't. I, before that time, I never associated Advent with the anticipation of waiting for Jesus to come back. Yeah. Like his second, like the second coming. I just never, I really never like hit in my head. To all my professors, if you're watching this when I was, you know, in college and in uh, seminary, I apologize that I didn't get that. So my bad. My bad. <laughs> well, yeah. I, we don't, Advent doesn't get talked about a lot. Either like, even in church, really, we don't talk about like Advent a ton. We mm. used to, when I was a kid, um, in our church, he, like even when I was a junior higher here, we used to do the candles. You'd have the five candles. Where you'd have, uh, you'd celebrate each week. There'd be, a, um, like one for shepherds, one for mm. I don't know, like hope and peace, and yeah. you go through each one of these things. And then you'd, on Christmas Eve is what you'd, you'd light the center one or Christmas if you had service on Christmas. And so we did that when we were a kid, but we never, but we like talked about it, but didn't really talk about it. it was this kind of thing you did. Yeah. So we haven't done it anymore. We haven't done it recently, but we did it in s- when I in another town I lived in every year. So and I think they still do it. I don't know. But that's cool. Yeah, there's churches that do it. Yeah. That's just, it's, the idea of Advent has kind of been taken over by cheese calendars <laughs> and Lego calendars. But there's more to that than just cheese. I mean, you're anticipating something coming. It's more cheese. But <laughs> it, we're also anticipating Jesus coming and stuff. And so this is all, I'm currently reading through Revelation for like the fifth time this semester. Thanks to one of my classes. So Jesus coming is on the, hot on the brain. Always, but yeah. So Advent. So here, here, uh, here's a question. Here's a question. Advent's coming up. We've already missed the start of Advent. I, I'm thinking of taking up the idea of fasting something. That's kind of why, like, I asked to kind of practice that like old tradition of fasting something. Do you think you could commit to giving up sugar till Christmas? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Mhm. I uh, I think I think I'm gonna give up TikTok till Christmas. Whoa! I know, that's huge, man. I know, <laughs> I know. Part of this was uh, I was in class this morning and we looked at like our screen times. Everyone oh. shared their screen times, and my number one uh, thing was TikTok <laughs> <laughs> on my screen time. However, I did not have as much screen time as Zach's father on TikTok. No, on just screen time in general. Yeah, my dad is on his phone all the time. You had he had it's like ridiculous. double all of his students. Yeah, it's sad. <laughs> he's on his phone all the time. I love him to pieces, but he's on his phone all the time. I am too, though. I'm gonna get. I'll, you know what? I'm gonna do this too. I will get rid of Twitter. <gasps> Twitter wow. till Christmas. Kay. And it's it's a hot mess right now. It's kind of fun to watch. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I know. I will, I will get off of Twitter for t- until Christmas. Twitter is kind. Yeah, Twitter's fun because it's right now, especially like you said, because. You're not necessarily getting on there for information. No, you're getting on there to see if it's going to implode. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Pretty much. Gotta love that. Emery, you don't have to say anything. Do you want to give up something? You're also not forced. This is just getting your opinion. 
Emery's like, I'm going to give up being on this show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I agreed to have a mic today. She did. So, Round of applause at home for Emery. For her. <laughs> yeah, don't clap into the mic. Yay. <laughs> Yay, Emery. It's only, it, we got her. Woohoo! <laughs> for month, we tried for months, and it's finally worked. And you're doing a great job. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually, this is. She'll be on stage, but she couldn't. She didn't want to do it. But now she does. She's a pro. She is. She's a pro. This. That's why we're giving full rights over to her, and me and Zach are stepping away from Table yep. Talk. Table Talk is now a production by Emery. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I think one thing that is, uh, I don't know if you guys have done this before, but you know, at, in in anticipation for Easter, there's a lot of fasting that goes on, you know, mm-hmm. with Lent, and our church is not. You know, Lent is not in the Bible, and so we don't do Lent in terms of, like, it being a, like, an important piece of our stuff. You know, it's not like we're anti-Lent of, like, somebody going and doing Lent or something like that, if that's meaningful. But it's not like a, we must do Lent because it's not in Scripture. Mm -hmm. Same thing with, like, Advent. It's not that same kind of thing. But I do think that the the practice of fasting is throughout Scripture all the time. And doing that as as part of our two big holidays— for us as you know Easter and Christmas I think like what you said about fasting I think is really important and should be practiced more I'm always guilty of that when we talk about spiritual disciplines of I struggle with fasting of just anything food um, whatever yeah and so have it, giving more opportunities to fast in anticipation and realizing our dependence on Christ I think is a really important thing that needs to be done more often. And so I think by talking about that, I think we can do something with it. So that's yeah. my thing. No, I think that's good. I think that's, that's really important because we, we uh, fasting even like you talk about like things we don't fasting is like all over the Bible yeah. and we kind of lose like the meaning of, it. you know, some people, some people just, when they think of fasting, they just think of dieting. I'm like, that's that is not, very true. that's not at all like what it should be thought of. So like the idea is like, now, any time when I'm just sitting around and I'm like, I want to hop on TikTok, instead of hopping on TikTok, I should think about what's coming up, what's coming, the second coming of Christ. Or like God should come to mind instead of like hopping on TikTok. And it's kind of like, it's almost like, in some ways, it's kind of like building in little reminders, little natural reminders to like, ah, oh, I want sugar. Ah, <sighs> add talking about it thanks sophia for being here for table talk you're and welcome thank you emory for working the ones and twos with me appreciate it a lot yeah so this is cool advent is here christmas is here we're excited about it so thank you so much hunter for working on that i appreciate that yeah but yeah so we are uh so yeah so make sure you do that we're gonna fast i'm gonna fast from twitter hunter's gonna fast from mm. TikTok. TikTok. Emery is trying to figure out what she's going to do and whether or not she wants to do it, and Sophia is as well. But we <laughs> hope that you will do that too and mention it in the comments of what you are going to fast. But True. Yeah. So this has been Table Talk. Hunter, do you have any last words to say before we send it out to our our outro music? No, I think uh, I think my, uh, my uh, parting words is I think we should all just be ramping up for the holiday season, having a good time. I love it. So. Hit subscribe. Ring the bell. Hit yeah, you got it. Hit hit that subscribe button. That ring subscribe, that bell. Ring that bell. Hit the hit like the like button. Like button. There it is. Hit that bell notifications. Okay. <laughs> hit <Bless> the. <laughs> See ya. We have a horrible. In- I have a horrible ending. I was hoping we, that you just take it away. I well yeah. You can. Like subscribe and hit that bell. Yeah. Like. There like, you go. Subscribe. Don't we do this bell. every time? Every time. We do this every, every time. single time. <laughs> but what Sophia time. said is it. There it is. Yeah. yeah. Like, Ready? subscribe, yeah. and hit that We'll bell. say that all at the same time. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Like, like subscribe, and hit that bell. <laughs>